Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be taking a look at another of jnor 99s courses which in the previous video I did mention is what we will be doing. This one is called Bandera Canyons Golf Club and it's a par 72 fictional course in the Delta team. Now it was added to TG Tours in the around about the middle of February um, and so we do have a little bit of a course description for this one and it goes as follows bandera canyons golf club is now open for business grab your buddies and head to the texas hill country for a great round of golf on our world-class course and a relaxing getaway at our five-star hotel bandera canyons features four sets of tees ranging from 6876 yards to 7514 yards from the tips navigate your way through winding canyons and vast waste areas and be sure to pay close attention to the landing areas on the greens we hope you enjoy your stay and the golf. So, uh, yeah, I've been meaning to get this one done for the last few days. Just been a little bit hectic again at work and stuff. Uh, so, finally getting around to doing it. I'm taking a risk, taking a gamble that uh, things don't go. Or things go according to plan anyway because i am doing this on a saturday usually i stay clear of the game on a saturday but uh, as per usual we'll be keeping everything on default so we're going to have uh, both fairways and greens firm green speed fast time of day is dawn which i never think to check which i did this time um we will be playing from the black tees which are 7512 yards and yeah not too far off i did say in the description 7514 uh give or take um and we will also yeah keep it on pin set number one and i'm actually i actually only just noticed as well just while looking at the course here on tgc tours that when i was recording shepherd's crook uh that wasn't actually appearing at all for me on tgc tours and now it is so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to update the description just to show uh show the course description in there so if you haven't seen that one yet there will be a, a brief write-up for that Okay, so we're going to be kicking things off with a par 4, 435 yards down 59 feet. And I'm sure you know the drill by now. Uh, if we do spot anything that we can take a look at, we will do. Obviously, console, we are a little bit restricted as to what we can take a look at. We don't have the, uh, the sky cam on the console, unfortunately. Hopefully, the next game does give us a little bit more freedom. Right, let's see how our first tee shot goes. Let me see. Did it say firm? like hopefully the ball will feed sort of down to the right good opening tee shot there's a hot air balloon in the background right so solid tee shot into the fairway to kick things off and it's going to leave us with 164 yards down 32 feet so again greens are firm and uh, I'm expecting this one to play similar to Shepherd's Crook, as he did tell me um, when he suggested these two courses to me that uh, they will have, they will be, they will be, um, they won't be unrealistic, but they will be a bit challenging. So uh, we've got a tricky little pin to get out here. I want to try and keep it over this side, let it filter its way down with the, the slope of the green, uh, 164. So I'm going to play about, what, 153, 159-ish. With the wind, so maybe an eight iron slightly de lofted. Would be just enough. Oh, a little slow and a horrible swing line. But it's getting there. It looks like, yes, it's on the green. Could have put a little bit of loft on that, actually. I did put de loft. We do hold the green anyway. Bit of a lengthy opening pull, or first pull. 24 feet up five green speed 170 it's not too bad of a putt to be honest oh have i i've under hit that badly under hit that so hoping we can just walk away with a par here and we do okay stay even for now Okay, so hole number two is the first of the par threes. And it's measuring 195 yards up six feet. So I'm going to play about 197 to the pin. Crosswind at nine miles per hour. Tricky pin to get it as well. Not much room to try and get it to stop. But if we do go over the back, we can get a little, little chip back up, hopefully. So I'm going to say 197. I think 185 would be enough. Yeah, I think I played a four iron, but we put a little bit of loft, a good bit of spin on it though. Try and get it to 
sit a little bit quicker. Emphasis on try. Decent, not too bad. Looks to be coming around not as much as I want. Touchdown about pin high, so we are going to go over the back. Just onto the fairway, but it leaves us 8-yard chip, so I'll pull that back a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, first birdie of the round is a hole out. Little short chip in. Takes us to one under par. So we got two par fives and one more par three on the front nine. And we're going to get a little, the usual replay. I don't think we need to see that one again. If it's a long one, we will definitely take another look. But little short ones like that, we don't need to. All right, so hole number three is another par four. It's measuring 478 yards down, 34 feet, 11 mile per hour wind from behind. And very nice tee shot, or view off the tee, should I say. Say about there. Oh dear, red fast felt. That one just kind of, thumb just jerked and snapped forward. Although... Got a little lucky, didn't go too far left. The wind kind of kept it in kept it in check there. Kept us in the fairway. And has now left us with 186 yards down 32 feet. Um so I'm gonna play roughly 175-ish with that wind. I want to pull it back a bit again. Oh wait, what's that slope there doing? Downhill. Kind of feeding downhill all the way in the front of the green. So I think will wind is trying to change will an 8 iron be enough we'll try an 8 iron good swing is it enough to carry it is enough to carry on and that's run up beautifully Oh, no, slow down, slow down. Okay, not bad. Birdie opportunity. From 13 feet. Not too aggressive of a break. I've underhit that again, I think, have I? I have. It actually it just about had the distance, I think, but just slightly underhitting it, turned it off a little bit more than I would have liked. So just another par for the moment, keep us at one under par, first of the par fives on the front nine coming up for hole number four. And it's measuring 530 yards down 15, 11 mile per hour wind in the face. So yeah, we're not going to get there in two. Not even going to bother trying that. Really liking all the planting and the, the waste areas and stuff, very nicely done so far. And again, time of day being done. Yeah, the lighting is nice and bright for it. Alright, that's a bit better on the swing line. Still off to the side a little bit. But we got the pair effect. And, oh, we're not going to hold the fairway, I don't think. Just trickles itself into the light rough. Um, so, yeah, definitely, I say, not going to bother. Well, there's no point in trying to bother. Uh, going for the green in two. Not going to get there. Even with, uh, yeah, even with driver. And coming out of the light rough. Um, don't even think I want to bother with either of the two woods. I think we'll just play the four iron up to here. Get it back into the fairway. A little fast. Going to come around to the left, hopefully not too much. Okay, so back in the short stuff. That's going to leave us 86, up 17, so about 92. That'll be perfect for the lob wedge. Ooh, pin tucked right at the back there. Oh, sorry, about that. just clear my throat real quick. Because um, I was just about to say, it looks like a nice little step work and stuff going up to the next tee for hole number five. But uh, yeah, very nicely done. So far, planting and such. Let's see if we can stick it nice and close here. I think, yeah, if I'm saying it's playing about 92. Um, 
all I should need to do, ooh, maybe a little bit of loft, we are on a downhill. Oh, that's really coming around that. The speed of that plane. <laughs> I just noticed them speeding around over there. That sends us up at the back of the green. So another chip. Um, I think nine yards, just going by the lie percentage. Maybe a little bit of spin as well. It might not sit quick. Not perfect. Oh, the spin was a mistake, actually. It did... Did slow down nice and quick, so I'm just going to be able to tap in birdie and for or birdie par, unfortunately, on uh, the first of the par fives. But yeah, I don't think I needed to put that spin on. It wasn't. I was expecting it to travel a little bit faster once it touched down on the green. But not to worry. Hole number five is a par four, and it's 446 yards down, 15 feet. Still got that 11 mile per hour wind angled this time kind of bottlenecking here in the landing area certainly don't want to go down to the left that will cause all sorts of problems um so i think if we play it over here and let the wind just kind of guide it back around maybe a little bit of draw as well there we go good tee shot now just hopefully the wind doesn't pull it around too far oh no that's perfect following the contours of the fairway nicely and ball is now pretty level at the feet 161 down six is what we're left with so about 159 um but i think we will play the seven iron just due to that wind and there's that plane speeding by in the background again i never noticed that uh, i know the bit i know the the large the passenger jets will be cruising slow to i never noticed the small planes going that fast before in the game I'd say they probably do, just never fully paid attention to it, but it's kind of catching the eye. Well, that's tracking around pretty good. And sat fairly quick. Leaves us a birdie put from 10 feet. Come on, turn. Yes, there we go. All right, second birdie. Second birdie of the round brings us to two under par. And hole number six is another par four. And it's measuring 319 yards down, 14 feet wind, 10 mile per hour. Angled from behind on the right, I think. Yeah, it's tempting me. It is downhill to there to try and get over there this is probably going to go horrendously wrong but a lot of canyon here to work with uh, let me see where's that bun uh, bunker again two greenside bunkers i'd say we play about here right under our, right under the end of the bridge there again yeah, maybe a little draw too oh there we're in the canyon i think can it kick out Oh, where's that gone? Okay, hopefully not too bad. We're in a bit of bother here. 49 yards up 14, so about 51. Oh, and the pin is sitting on a little bit of a mound. Come up short, we're going to run back away, go up long. We're going to run further down the green. Um, Let me see. Light percentage for the flop shot is not the best. What did I say? 54 ish yards oh i don't know um i think a pitch shot to be honest can i get up that slow oh, no it's not gonna have the pace is it all right we're on but gonna be a tricky putt 32 feet up one pop the pin in um i want to say two lines pushed it uh, i was just enough i'd say that might have dropped if i didn't push it out to the right oh lucky just not a par well 
we'll let it drop in the hole first to make sure we make sure of that but uh yeah another par keep us two under par last of the par fives now for the front nine coming up and then the second and final par three of the front nine also after that so this one that was measuring 540 yards up 15 feet eight mile per hour tailwind winds trying to die down now very tricky one to try and do uh i don't think gonna carry over the bunkers mm. definitely uh making me think here on this one i'd say if we go about here uh, what i'll try and do try and do is uh, send it a little bit longer with some attack angle and loft slightly fast I think we're in the bunker. One of them anyway. Oh no. Nope. Just into the light rough actually surprisingly. But. Very difficult. Second shot now. Left. I don't know what word I was about to say there. But definitely not going to. Um, get there in two. That's for sure. Still 297 yards to go. Um, we just again. Just want to get it back into the fairway. So I think we'll put a good bit of draw on this and that should wrap it around the trees. Comfortably. I think we possibly actually would have gotten over them, but just to be safe. All right, back in the fairway, down on the, the lowest point. Guess they're all relatively level with the feet. And leaves us 151 down three. So about 150 bang on. Nine iron should be fine on this. Um, but I will put a little bit of loft and decent bit of spin as well, just because it is a small area to work with again. Oh, it's slow. Now, hopefully, it still has enough to get to the green, though. Does gonna be a lengthy putt. Oh, no, it's trying to feed its way down there. Keep going. About 20, 25 feet, maybe. Oh, even less, 16. I will take that. Um, a little bit of right to left at the end. Otherwise, left to right all the way. Oh, turn. Don't turn back. No, I pushed it out that extra little bit. Didn't trust the gut. I just thought, nah, it's going to turn a little bit more aggressive at the start. But it didn't. So that is two of the par fives parred, unfortunately. And of course, the, the par fives are where you do want to be really trying or should really be walking away with birdies. It's your best opportunities. Um, but hole eight is the final par three of the front nine. And it's 180 yards down 29 feet. So playing about 170 to the pin. Seven iron. That's a tricky pin to get at. Um, what did I say? 170. Yeah, I mean, I'd say... Let me see, because so we've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Six iron, definitely, and full spin. That's going to send it right up into that wind. All right, got the perfect. Looks to be coming around just nice. Oh! Came down a little quicker than I was hoping it would. And took a nasty kick to the left, all the way to the other end of the green. Now this is going to be a very difficult putt. 60 feet up to... Oh. Um, yeah, it's just a hit and hope this one is, I think. Oh my god, that was a horrible push off to the right. Didn't miss by too much, to be honest, though, surprisingly. But it has left us with a par putt. So, from that distance, with the break on it as well, good effort. Keep us at two under par for now. Anyway, let's see if we can get another birdie before the turn. But hole nine being par four, 424 yards down, seven feet. Again, teeing off over the canyon. Got the bottleneck right in the landing area, but I think... Mm. That looks like it from here. It looks like a bit of a tricky pin to get it as well. I see a greenside bunker garden. 
Um, I think if we play some fade and turn it more into that wind, got the perfect. Just don't come around too far. I'm hoping the wind does hold, and then the fade takes enough yardage off that we do stick the fairway. Nope, we are running out. Thankfully, went into the bunker. Didn't stay in the in the heavy rough. Should give us a bit of a better light percentage. 80 to 88. Um, with the six mile per hour wind in the face. Hmm. Five iron get there. As I'm gonna go directly for the pin. I think we'll go 194 just in case. First attempt there, just cancelled. It didn't feel right at all. Oh, we dig. Oh, I'm setting myself up for another hor horribly long pull. I thought it was going to run off into the fairway of the rough there. But it's a putt for birdie. 43 feet up two inches. Uh, again, I'd say I'm going to go at least two and a half, I think. Maybe back in a little bit, actually, because it is going to turn back to the right towards the end of it. Now, I've under hit that again. It was starting to turn back. Just pushed forward a little too quick, and I pushed that off enough to hit the lip, and it's a drop shot. To finish off the front nine, unfortunately, take us back to one under par. So I'll say, the course is challenging, but it's not unrealistic. Which is uh, what Joe likes to do. It does have a few other courses, actually. Um, which I'm going to try and uh, get featured as well. Um, see how they play also. They are, they are also all on TGC Tour, so do... Feel free to look them up and give them a try yourself. But to kick off the back nine, we have uh, for hole 10, par 4. And it's 450 yards down, 32 feet. Wind 6 mile per hour from the back. So we should be okay to play it just straight off the tee. A little fast. Now, I think the fairway was sloping to the left. So, yeah, we're okay. We should... Yeah, I'd say a stronger wind, there's potential maybe to run out there. Nice bridge work over the overall this waste area again. The waste area is done very nicely. With the plant that it's not overly crowded. But it's just enough to break it up and give it some uh, some character. And that's a tricky pin to get. I definitely want to stop this quick. Uh 119. We'll say I play about 118. With the wind, 111, 112 maybe. So sand wedge should actually be okay. Just a little bit of spin on it. Maybe a tiny little touch of deal off too. That'll probably be a mistake. We've got the perfect 99% power. Slightly under hit it, hopefully. That actually helps us. Alright, stopped a bit quicker. But I will take that. Birdie put. See if we can't get a birdie to kick off the front or the back nine, should I say? Uh, eight feet up one. Don't turn. Oh, <laughs> just held enough to grab the right edge. All right, so good start so far to the back nine. That'll probably come back to bite me. Saying that now, but uh, hole eleven, par four. Measuring three hundred and five yards up ten feet. Ooh, this could get up there. If we can, if we can definitely just maybe land in and around about this area. Very tight little bottleneck to land in, but and the wind is trying to pick up as I'm talking. Oh, it's fast. Now nope, that's hopefully best case scenario going to be bunkered. Oh no. That did not turn as anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to with the angle of the wind and hitting the fast. Really thought that was going to come around to that left side bunker there. 
But it's left us anyway, 17 yards up 5, so about 19. A little splash shot. Full loft and spin. Ooh, sit. That'll do. Decent distance out of it, full loft and spin, and getting a red slow as well. Turn. Oh, again, the put just pushed him. That would have dropped. Need to kind of uh, pay attention to what I'm doing with the stick on the putts. As I'm pushing a lot of them this round. But uh, first par three of the back nine anyway, for hole number 12. 240 yards down six feet, so about 238. Now with that wind, certainly going to have to play the, uh, the three wood. Very long and narrow green. Um, we should be alright though here. Got it perfect. It's turning back with the wind towards the hole. I'll chase this one in, see how it goes. Come on, turn, turn. Give me my first hole in one on camera. <laughs> I'm still waiting for it, but one day. Hopefully we can get one before the next game does come out. Right, 11 feet down one. Very minimal break. That's a better put line. And there was a little bit of right to left there and it didn't take it. But it gave us a birdie either way. Bring us to three under par. Okay, the first par five of the back nine for hole 13. 522 yards down 21. And nine mile per hour wind from the back. Can we get this one in two? Oh, it's tempting now to try and get over the, uh, the waste area here. Oh, I think we can. Really need to get a perfect here, though. Slight fast, but hopefully it's not going too far left. It should be okay. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we should get there in two now. I was really taking some distance off. 338 yards off the tee. Leaves us 185. Down 15. So about 180 to the pin. 172-ish maybe with the wind. So a little bit of a backstop safety net area in behind the pin. If we can work the slope there. Ball slightly below the feet. Didn't bother touching the attack angle or anything like that. Just let it come down and naturally take the slope, which it should turn. Nope. It's got, oh, it's going to turn the wrong way, is it? Come off the green. Come off, come off, come off. Yes, there we go. We got ourselves a little chip up to the hole. Potential chip in eagle. Nine yards. So we'll definitely play lob wedge. We've got about here, I think. Considerable break on it. Maybe come back another yard. Oh, a little fast. But turned well. I think I slightly under hit it going by the, the red power percentage there. But a little tap in for the bird. And that is our first birdie on the par fives. So having a good back nine so far. Just a single par. Hole 14, par 4. And it's 436 yards down, 5 feet. We're trying to be out to the side. Oh, now we've got water in play. So place your bets. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm going to aim way over here. And at least if we do hit a slow, hopefully it doesn't help the wind bring us into the water. Oh, if it a fast, now we're going to be bunkered. If the wind does take it anyway back to the right. I would prefer to be bunkered. Where is this going? To another spot of bother is exactly where that's going. Leaves us 146 up 19. So about 152. Horrible lie. Um, I want to play 6 iron here, I think. I still don't even think that's going to get there, but another fast. All right, gets us back into the fairway anyway. 
we might even be able to get a nice little chip up to the hole here that's not too far at all nine yards Come on, drop in yes there we go all right horrible tee shot Managed to recover it up to the side of the green and chip it in for a birdie. Take us to five under par. That's three birdies in a row. We'll actually have... I knew I could hear a buzzing in the background. I had the door open there a minute ago and a fly got in. And he just went past me there. Where's he gone? I'm going to have to hunt him down now. <laughs> I missed the replay because of him. There he is. I'll get you. I thought I could hear... So I thought I was hearing things. I was like... Same as I can I hear a little buzzing in the background, but no, there he is. He's he's drifting around. He's showing himself. Right, I think yes, this is the final par three anyway of the course for hole fifteen. One hundred and seventy-five yards down nine feet. Gonna try not that not let that little bugger distract me. Um, so about one seventy-two, one sixty-five, one sixty-six maybe with the wind. I want to play just an eight iron here. I think a little bit of loft and spin, not too much. Oh, slightly fast. That's not going to turn with the wind. Should be on the green either way, though. Oh, just about. It's a nice little pond. I think it's just a pond anyway. I haven't noticed any uh, any river system at all. So we'll just, uh, let me see, we'll pan the camera around. Yeah, I think it's just a pond. to be where's the end okay it's a little bit bigger than i thought but uh, yeah just a pond area nicely nicely done with the bits of planting here and there nothing overly done but just enough to again as i say just give it a bit of character let's reset ourselves he's drifting around the desk he knows <laughs> he knows he's he's putting me off right 36 feet up one um up one foot should I say? So yeah, mark is forty-seven. I'll keep it about there. I think I want to go. Yeah, about green line because it should turn very slightly back right to left again towards the end. I've overhit that one. Yeah. Ooh. So if I was just inside the green, hitting at that pace, would have hit the pin, dropped, but. Not today. Now we have a tricky one back for par. I've underhit it. Have I? Oh no! <laughs> right on the lip it stops. And robs us of a par save. Another bogey. Take us back to four under par. For the last of the par threes. So two par fours and a par five to finish off the round. Hole number 16 is 386 yards down 5 feet. Uh, I was about to say 10 mile per hour. Uh, 6 mile per hour wind, tailwind. That's what I wanted to say. Beginning with a T. And where do we go? Certainly don't want to try and cut it over the, the trees and the waste area there. Um, so that will lead to a world of trouble again. So I think... With... A bit of draw to counter the wind, the slight angle of the wind. If we can get it to run down into that little area in behind those two fairway bunkers. If it even gets that far. So it looks like it should feed the ball down that way anyway. Or maybe not. Oh, it is slowly. That'll do. Left is a little bit of a longer approach in though, but uh, still, we're in the fairway with 180 up 6, so about 182. Definitely going to have to play the 4 iron, I think, or maybe not. We are on quite a down slope, so maybe if we just put a little bit of D-loft on the 5 iron. Slight fast, still trying to turn. Now there's a slope here. Mm, stunned right I think it was more the bottom end of a stunned on really took the pace out of it as a sting but it's left us with a birdie putt nonetheless from 21 feet I'm gonna go just outside the green line for this one 
blasted it again. Come on, turn, 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 turn. And I pushed it. Again, still missed on the outside at all. So I'm trying to save par here again. I've, I've done it again. I've underhit it. <laughs> oh, overhit the first put and then underhit the set the, the par save. And that is back to back bogeys. Take us back to three under par. Oh, we're not getting on a bogey streak now, are we? For the end, come on. I pull at least one of those two drop shots back, if not both of them. Par four and then a par five to finish. 426 yards up 14 feet for hole 17. Going to play over the bunkers here. There we go. Yeah, a bit disappointed with myself now with this uh, with the putting at the moment. It's a little bit uh, erratic. I'm either pushing it or blasting it or... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I should have warmed up a little bit more before starting to record. Right, 139. Up eight, up 19, should I say. So about 145-ish. Okay, 8 iron in. little bit fast that should be okay though if we can just sit quick oh it's gonna come off onto the fringe so we have a little chip shot for the birdie from seven yards oh no <laughs> under hit it and hit a red fast That was just down to me. I just, I, again, I just snapped the finger with the thumb forward a little bit too quick. But at least we didn't drop another shot anyway. Broke that little streak that was starting to try and get going. So here we are anyway for the final haul. Number 18, par 5, 583 yards up 26 feet. Water off the tee to the right, but we shouldn't have to worry about that. We should carry over that fairway bunker also. Oh, it's a little slow. The wind ain't going to pull that around as much, but still over the bunker, and we will still be in the fairway anyway. Don't think we're going to get here in two. 285 yards up 41. Um, to be honest, I'm going to play... Ooh, let me see, what have we got here? We've got a little bit of fairway to work with here. But I think I'll play the driver off the deck. Try and get it up. Onto that top tier of the hole. As far and as best as we can. Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful strike on that one. No, it's still not getting up. Ah. <laughs> oh, crap. Where are we? Um, Going to end up with a twisted ankle here. <laughs> 74 yards. Up. 14 feet, so about 79 with the wind. Um, so I think we'll just play play the pitch and wedge pitch shot with the wind as well. I don't even know. I can't even see the ball. Okay, come on. Kick on. Kick on. Yes, there we go. Now slow down. Stop, 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 stop. Whenever you're ready. Okay, we can still potentially... Claw back one of those two drop shots a couple of holes ago with an 11 yard putt for the birdie. Decent bit of break on it, but I don't think it's going to be any more than the green line. There's a decent putt, but it still turned a bit quicker than I thought, or a bit more than I thought it was going to. So that is three of the four par fives parred, and we are going to stay at, what is it, three under par, I think? Three under par. Good challenge in that course. Really enjoyed that one, definitely. Um, finishing off the back, the front nine with uh, with a bogey and then hole 15 and 16, getting a back-to-back -back bogeys again. But, um, yep, definitely, as you did tell me, likes his courses to be uh, challenging but not unrealistic, and uh, that certainly showed there. Gave me a, a good challenge. Very, very nicely done course. I did like all the planting and stuff, especially in the waste areas, just giving them all a little bit of character and it. The, the ponds and stuff but uh yeah very very nice course again by jnr 99 that has been bandera canyons golf club 
thank you all very much for watching that's where we're gonna leave this one if you did enjoy it don't forget to drop it a like if you have not done so already or you're just brand new to the channel and you are enjoying the content do consider subscribing i will talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now